My name is Ava, and I am a travel vlogger. Over the last year, I traveled Pakistan far and wide, north to south and east to west. My videos and content about the country have garnered millions of views, but I'm not here to talk about myself today. Today, I'm here to talk about what I've seen of Pakistan and what I believe the future of Pakistan's tourism can be. See, most of my Pakistani friends start to chuckle when I tell them this, but it's really no joke. I believe that Pakistan can be the world's number one tourism destination. It really can. Let me give you a few arguments as to why I think so. Starting with the mountains of Pakistan, one of the greatest assets that nature has bestowed on this country. Beyond the current resorts of Malamjaba and Naltar, why can't ski resorts dot the peaks of these mountains? And beyond that, looking at the beautiful landscapes of Skardu and Hunza and Sawat, why can't Pakistan become the next Bhutan or Nepal with mountaineering and mountain trekking infrastructures that rival those of its neighboring countries? With eight out of the world's 20 tallest mountains, this should be the epicenter of the world's trekking, adventure, and mountain tourism. And just look at the mountains of the south. This is Hingal National Park in Balochistan. Now, why can't this become the next Grand Canyon? Just imagine tourists trekking, hiking, and camping among these beautiful nature-made structures. And while we're in Balochistan, how can we forget about the beaches? The entire coast of the Arabian Sea with the right attitude and vision could become one of the world's prime beach destinations for all seasons. Imagine five-star resorts, private islands, and beach shacks lining this beautiful coastline. Because, after all, isn't it beautiful? And isn't it possible? Next up, culture and the arts. Both Sindh and the capital of culture, Lahore, have so much to offer. The craftsmanship and artistry and handicrafts that I've seen are unlike anywhere else in the world. This could be Pakistan's prime export. And imagine thousands, hundreds of thousands of tourists bringing bits of Pakistan with them back home to share with their communities. Religious tourism. Pakistan has such an incredible Islamic heritage. And I know that the Sufi trail of Sindh can appeal not just to Muslim tourists, but to any tourists interested in history and culture. Pakistan also happens to be the birthplace of Sikhism and the travels of Guru Nanak. It's also home to some of the most important Hindu sites in the world, as well as Buddhist stupas and remains of a rich Buddhist heritage. History. Why don't more people around the world know that Pakistan is where the world's oldest civilization, the Indus Valley Civilization, was found? Why can't Macri Necropolis, Ranakot Fort or Mahenjo-Daro become the next Machu Picchu or Angkor Wat? What exactly is preventing Pakistan from becoming the world's top destination for history buffs? And of course, let's not forget about the food. Pakistan has such a rich culture of food and cuisines. And the diversity from province to province is just astonishing. Take Lahore and Karachi. Where are the Michelin starred restaurants? Why can't these places become some of the world's top culinary hubs for foodie tourism? Well, this is my Pakistan. It's going to take so much time, effort, dedication and investment to bring this vision into reality. But I know that the gifts that Pakistan has been blessed with are endless. This is how I see the future of tourism in Pakistan. And I hope that you share my vision.